Hi everyone, let's paint another winter wonderland. It could be a nice Christmas card. I'm wetting my paper as you can see. The water had a little bit of blue in it, so it's not entirely clean, but that doesn't matter. I'm adding a mixture of raw umber, a little Prussian blue, and a touch of grey. My board is at an angle so that the colours flow down together and there's a soft merging. I'm just adding whatever's on the brush where I think I can add some texture and I'm leaving a lot of blank spaces on the paper for snow. That's a stronger mix now of Prussian blue and Payne's grey. Just letting the colours diffuse. I'm just tilting the board so that the colours get a chance to mix together. Wiping away the excess colour. Just gently dab whatever's pooling. That should be fine. I've laid my board down flat now and I'm adding some trees. This is a strong mixture of Prussian blue and Payne's grey. Just laying down the foundation for some trees. The paper is still wet, but um, I want that soft diffusion and so I'm adding the trees right there. Now with the store card, I'm just going to scrape out tree trunks. You can do as many or as few as you like. I'm trying to indicate a little wooded area in the background. The same on the other side. I'm just going to soften the edge with a damp brush. Just a slight diffusion of colour. I want to add some rocks in the foreground. So this is a mixture of all three colours, Prussian blue, Payne's grey and raw umber. adding a few little small stones embedded in the snow and I use my store card again to scrape out those rocks. This is an excellent way to add texture. In this case I hope that it looks a little as if the rocks have a slight powdering of snow on them. All I'm doing is just scrape. 
draping the card across the paint and you get a lovely texture. I'm just tapping my brush lightly just to suggest hidden rocks beneath the snow. Scraping out again for a little texture. Small pebbles and in the distance, you know, some a little of something, a little of nothing. Just to indicate some stones and brush in the background. Just softening those edges, using a very small brush for that. I want to add a tree in the foreground. Those of you who have been following me will know that I love painting trees. I think each one is so unique and so beautiful. And even in the winter without their leaves or anything, they still look lovely. Every tree has a different character and that's what I try to capture each time I paint a tree. Every tree is different. I'm just thickening the trunk a bit, adding a few more branches. Be another little straggly branch right there. I think that looks quite nice now. I'm going to add some texture to that tree trunk with the store card. It's the easiest way to add texture. It's a gnarled root just among the stones and rocks. Add maybe some dry twigs and grasses. I might add a few seed heads to that just for a spot of colour. So for the seed heads, I've just added a little bit of rose. I had some of it on my palette. You can add whatever color you like. It's just a touch, just a suggestion. I 
think that's looking quite pretty. And in the distance, I will add some rocks and pebbles. On the edge of the store card, I've added a little bit of paint and I'm just scraping it across the paper. And you get that impression of rocks embedded in the snow. I'm just softening up those edges, lightening it up a bit. Camouflage that a bit, add some color and blend it so you have the effect of shadow in the snow. Just a few embellishments now, some taller dried twigs or grasses and then we'll add a little snow on the tree and you know here and there. I think that adds a lovely touch to the winter scene. Just to give an impression of snow melting on the branches and maybe a little on the stones too. There, that looks nice. I'm using my rigor brush, the liner for the snow. It's a very fine brush i think it's a number one it's great for details and nearly done just a few embellishments And it's ready for my signature. I hope I have encouraged you to try and paint your own little Christmas cards. That's the finished look. And I will probably wax it and mount it. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe if you haven't already. And happy holidays.